This is the second part of how I made a 3D printed Iron Man helmet. I'll show you how I sanded, filled imperfections, primer, and painted the helmet. After the first coat of filter primer and sanding, you will be able to see the imperfections. I used the bonded spot putty and I also tried using the wood filter. I basically applied it everywhere I saw an imperfection. After it dried, I used a 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the surface. I wrapped the sandpaper on a flat piece of wood. This helps to sand evenly. I sanded no further than the primer coat. I sprayed it again with a filler primer to find more imperfections. All these little details need to be fixed. I tried using a 220 grit sandpaper, but as you can see, the fill primer is too thick. So I switched to a 220 grit wet sandpaper. I sanded down until I saw the PLA color, getting all the small imperfections. I used scrap wood I had laying around to make a stand for painting. I also used a hot glue gun to keep it from falling. Now I used a regular primer just to find any small imperfections. Here you can see some very small ones. Now I use the bonded spot putty I got at AutoZone. You can buy it from Walmart also. It does a better job than the wood filter, but it has a really strong smell. Up on the right you can see I use the same steps for the rest of the pieces. Again, I used a 220 grit sandpaper to smooth out the bondo. All the red parts you see is where the bondo filled any gaps. Again, now I sprayed it with the filter primer. By now, you can't see any imperfections. Now it is time to sand with a 400 degree wet sandpaper. One more coat of filter primer and then I used a 1000 degree wet sandpaper. This will prepare it for the first primer coat. I applied two coats of primer sealer and four very light coats of the Duplicolor Metal Cast Red. And this is how it looks. I used epoxy putty to secure the two pieces of the faceplate together. Now this is ready for the final primer and paint. 
First two coats of primer sealer, then three coats of gold. After it dried for one day, I gave it a coat of clear. Make sure you use the same brand of paint and clear to avoid any chemical reaction. This is the final result. Jarvis, are you there? At your service, sir. Here is all together. I used super glue and epoxy putty. On the next video, I'll be working on the electronic servo to lift the faceplate and to light up the LED panels for the eyes. The job piece is attached with magnets. I use epoxy putty to secure them in place. I also need to go through all the steps to finish the ear caps. This should be done by the next video. If you are not subscribed, please click on the icon on the right to do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Click the link on the left to see part one of this build. Please consider becoming a patron. The link is in the description below. Thank you and goodbye.